Anyone who plays the guitar and grew up in Grand Rapids likely knows Rainbow Music. Now the two men behind the store will close its doors for good. 13 On Your Side's Nate Belt talked with them about their 42 years in business. After more than four decades of business here at Rainbow Music on Leonard, the owners have decided it's time for their final encore. All we really wanted to do was survive and have a paycheck and be able to say to our parents that we had something we were doing with our lives. When the store opened in 1979, Pete Bardolf and John Gelderloos had no idea they'd be around this long. The two went to Calvin College and played music around town. That's when they decided owning a music store wasn't a bad idea. We were used to shopping for equipment when we needed it, and then we needed a career of our own. Together, they opened Rainbow Music with some cash loaned by their parents. We had to be particularly responsible because our parents expected their money back. And they did get it back about 10 years later. Throughout its 42 years, the store has seen trends come and go. From Gibson guitars popular at Woodstock to the whammy bars popularized by Eddie Van Halen in the 80s. Everybody had to have that on their guitar. And now nobody needs it on their guitar. The store also offered guitar lessons. Pete and John have enjoyed watching students go from amateurs to making names for themselves. One guy was a recent teacher for us. He took lessons here, he was a teacher, and now he's in Nashville. You know. The two pride themselves on building relationships with customers throughout the year as big box stores and online shopping have taken away the intimacy of years past. That's the difference, I think, between a store like this and, and uh, buying on the internet or whatever because you can come and look us in the face and if you have a problem, we're, we're, we're here. And the customers noticed with many coming by each day to say their goodbyes to the store. This woman, who we've known a long time, she brings us a box of you know, custom designed cookies with, with rock and roll logos on them as a parting gift. And it's like, oh, that's, that's really sweet. Now, as they prepare to close the doors for good, the two look fondly back at a life well spent. Doing what we were doing was, was fun. Not very profitable in the beginning, but it was fun. The final day for the store is June 12th. While John heads off into retirement, Pete says he can't quite leave his tinkering ways behind and will open a repair shop just down the road. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Nate Belt, 13 on your side.